Hello and welcome back to Actual Edge. Today we bring you a heartwarming story from India where a man's inspiring mission is providing a haven for HIV infected children. Let's delve into the remarkable journey of Ravi Kant Babatle and the happy Indian village. But before we start, don't forget to hit that like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. In India's Maharashtra state lies Happy Indian Village, a sanctuary founded by Ravi Kant Babatle. This haven shelters approximately 110 residents, including children and couples, all of whom are living with HIV. Babatle, affectionately called Baba by the residents, initiated this noble venture after witnessing the tragic death of a seven-year-old HIV-positive orphan who was abandoned and ostracized by his community. Before dedicating his life to this cause, Babatle worked as a journalist and educator. His encounter with the plight of HIV-infected children spurred him into action, leading him to establish Happy Indian Village in 2006. Despite facing initial opposition and challenges from the local community, Babatle preserved, eventually gaining support from district authorities and social organizations. The sanctuary not only provides shelter, but also aims to improve the physical and emotional well-being of its residents. Babatle's morning exercise classes conducted amidst the serene surroundings of Happy Indian Village serve not only to enhance the children's physical health, but also to uplift their spirits in the face of daily challenges. Moreover, Babatle recognized the importance of education and integration for the children under his care. He ensured that they received schooling despite encountering resistance from locals who feared the spread of the virus. Through perseverance, Babatle successfully addressed these concerns, emphasizing that the children pose no threat to the community. As the sanctuary expanded, Babatle envisioned a self-sustaining community for its residents. With innovative fundraising efforts including a cultural troupe of children performing across India, he secured additional land to transform Happy Indian Village into a thriving village with gardens, huts and farming activities. Despite the adversity they faced, many residents of Happy Indian Village have found new hope and purpose. Rani, one of the first children to arrive at the sanctuary, not only received an education but also found love and started the family. Her story, along with others like Amit and Pooja, reflects a transformative impact in Babatle's mission. Looking ahead, Babatle's dream of a day when Happy Indian Village is no longer needed, a day when HIV is eradicated from India. His unwavering dedication to this cause serves as a beacon of hope, inspiring others to join the fight against HIV and AIDS stigma and discrimination. And that concludes today's segment on Actual Edge. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, share this video and hit the notification bell for more inspiring updates. Goodbye for now.